Hey guys, RC here back with episode 4, Football Manager 21 Beta Save with Leeds United. Staying up is what we're trying to do, and we're off to a pretty good start. So after last episode, uh, we beat Fulham 1-0 with a goal by Jamie Shackleton and a 1-1 draw to Newcastle at home. Patrick Bamford on the score sheet in that one. Today we're back for Crystal Palace and Arsenal, so we'll start off with Palace. Taking a look at the competitions here real quick. We're still in sixth position, 19 from 12. Five wins, four draws, three defeats, a plus one goal differential. We are not scoring a lot. And you can see Man United plus 29 on the goal differential. Yeah, there's not some coding stuff going on there. Huh? Rodrigo still leads the club with five goals, but he has been off the boil. Has not scored in uh, three matches, but he has played every match this year. Uh, did pick up an assist against Fulham, so that was good. And let's see, what else is going on? I think that's about it. So we're going to play Palace today. Alioski's out with yellow card suspensions. Let's get back into here. It's going to be interesting to see exactly what little tweaks and changes are made between, you know, beta and the full release. Because, you know, they're still working on the game. They're fixing a few things. I don't think there will be anything major, but, you know, uh, there was one thing. You remember last episode, we I, I mentioned the, the little circles on here with the green or yellow to show their uh, ability for the position like this? Well, now, <laughs> now you actually have to go into it and do the drop down here and look at their roll ability for that position. Or you have to go into the player and look here. As was pointed out, it's nice to be able to look at something all on one screen and see how it meshes. We're not seeing that ability. And I do see the grid here, so maybe it just doesn't show up during the match. Uh, that's here at the beginning. So uh, anyway, I was testing something out. I actually went on vacation on a match day just to see what would happen. And the assistant manager completely changed the tactic to uh, three at the back to a, to a five, three, two, basically. And so I was trying to figure out what was going on there because it is a beta. We're still trying to help SI figure out anything that may be kicking around that we don't want at full release. And, you know, I seem to recall previous episodes when you took a team and you went into the you know meeting with the board and your assistant manager that they you know there was always a question do you want me to use the same tactic and you would choose yes or no well now it appears you actually have to go in on the vacation where you go on you know home for myself vacation there's actually boxes in there you've got to check to uh, to use the same tactic and use the squad because you know I, I was picking the squad uh, you know and, and I was just trying to see what was working what wasn't so you know I'm playing around with different stuff and you know that's part of this so here we're going with Bamford Costa Rafinha Klitsch Rodrigo Phillips Davis Cooper Urente and Ailing today Meslier in the goal let's get to it Davis lacking match sharpness. I get it. Doesn't play a ton. A lot of these guys were expected to go out on loan, I believe. But I just didn't see the need to shorten our bench because a lot of these U23 guys are the depth that we have on the squad. Oh, there's some shadowing. Nice. That's weird. I don't recall that in previous matches. Do you got oh Zaha having nightmares of the fourth goal against uh, Palace this past week? 
And Jordan Ayu, fifth goal of the season in the 16th minute. That was too easy. Too easy. We have tighter marking. I'm going to raise that to standard just to see if that helps any. Because we were wide open there. That's not good. Come on, boys. Uh, IU down the right side. Cross in. Laid off. All right, we clear it out a little bit. And yet another Palace highlight. This is, this is feeling like a 4-1 drubbing coming on. A severe case of deja vu. And of course, our header goes right to their player. That's interesting. So I see they haven't fixed that. <laughs> All of theirs go right to their player that they want, and ours. Hey, Rafinha needs some orange boots here, man. And... Bamford wears yellow boots. His might be right. Rafinha, nice touch. Bamford on a run. Oh, they are just parking the bus back there, aren't they? Rodrigo. Oh, nice ball into Costa. And he just, oh, just a deft touch. I think the keeper thought he was going to try to power that. That was an interesting uh, graphic there with the keeper. Let's kind of watch that on the highlight because that might be something new. Yeah, look, he was going out. Looks like he thought it was going to be a power shot, and he just slid it softly underneath him. That was nice. I think that's one of those new uh, new graphics they were talking about. Bamford putting the pressure on. But they find a space. Oh, my God. Good save by Meslier. Knocks it away for a corner. Let's demand more. So a high XG is one, a low XG is zero. Somebody actually started a thread over at SI in, in, in the general discussion, and it basically says, oh, how, the, how did he get that through? That's ridiculous. That was ridiculous. Oh my gosh. That was your rente that got burned. But, and none of our defenders go after the ball. Good thing he had a little bend on that, or that was in the net. Come on, people. Klitsch, back to Phillips. Rodrigo, Bamford, Rafinha, Rodrigo. Yeah, that would have been a nice move, but nothing there. No joy for him. All right, so XG.56, so they're doing really well. Uh, we are going to... Thrash our arms. There we go. Hey, like that. All right, let's pause it here real quick. Ailing's struggling a little bit. Bamford struggling up top. Might have to do an early sub here. All right, there's Rafinha. Klitsch. Oh, taken away. That was unlucky. Oh, Rafinha's on it. Heavy touch, but he still gets to the ball and puts in his first goal of the season. That was nice. thought Bamford was going to be on that ball with the tip, but Rafinha. This was a nice recovery by him to break in right there, and I thought Bamford was going to cut in and take this shot. Rafinha with some real good acceleration for the short burst. Liking that. All right, let's make a sub here. Bamford struggling. Let's put Rodrigo up top. Ailing's not doing well. 
Now, can Urente play out there? Urente can play out there. So I want Koch in the middle. Let's do that. And Bamford or, yeah, I'm going to put Shaxx in. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, they're in a 4-4-2. Oh, good block. And the rebound. Sacco. They're looking for an offsides. Doesn't look like they're going to get it. Well, they are going to VAR. And the goal's been disallowed. Nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. They're both, they're two of them on the, on the touchline. Good call. VAR gets one right. That's astounding. All right. We are going to ask for encouragement, I think. Okay, some encouragement worked. Nice. Shackleton off to a slow start. Klitsch uh, for McCalment. We are at 76 minutes, so we'll go ahead and pull that, set, that uh, move. Now, see, here's a shot, but nothing, no highlight, so that's interesting. All right, let's uh, demand more. And I'm going to jump in here. We'll slow the pace down. Make sure we get out of here with at least a point. No real highlights here in the second half. 12-12 on shots. 5 to 8 on target. We end up with a 163 XG, 86% passing and 51% possession. We will take it. Uh hand on hips. Yep. Should have won that match. We'll tell them that. And we will be back for Arsenal, but we are now at 20 out of 20 points from 13 matches and we are still holding on to qualifying. See you guys back here in a second. All right, let's take a quick look just through a couple of things. Uh, dynamics, cohesion's good. Atmosphere and leadership support are very good. Cooper, Dallas, Ailing. So last time we looked at this, I want to say we had five players that supported us. We're up to 16. Eight players with no opinion, which is fine. Calvin Phillips not supporting me yet is a little troubling, but that is what it is. Where's Bamford? Bamford's there, Berardi, Rodrigo, Urente, Harrison. Harrison's being a nutcase. Rafinha's in support. Of course, Harrison has lost his job to a certain extent. Social groups, we've got three groups, mostly the newer, newer foreign players that haven't, you know, they're, they're Spanish, uh, all of them, or at least Spanish speaking. I mean, Koch is German, but uh, Rafinha is Brazilian, but, uh, but they speak Spanish, right? Or they speak Portuguese? I'm thinking they speak Portuguese, but they probably speak Spanish too. What's the old saying? Uh, the guy, well, there was a movie, and the guy goes, "Man, those young people—they speak Spanish." He goes, "Well, they speak Spanish where they come from." And he goes, "I know that's a hard language to learn." <laughs> it was uh, what movie was that? That was uh, a League of Their Own or something with the little kid that owned the Minnesota Twins. Anyway, all right, let's take a look at the squad and our goal leaders. Seven for Rodrigo, four for Bamford. Everybody's playing pretty well if we sort by average rating. Strikes right on the cusp of seven, as is Harrison. But you can see he's only played six matches. Interesting. I'm going to have to keep an eye on that because I'm not sure why. Well... Costa got the start over there. We may we'll give him another start today. All right, well, let's get to it. We're playing Arsenal. Arsenal are in fourth with 26 points. We are on 20, and they have two games in hand on us. That seems a little 
excessive. Uh, let's dial back to cautious. I can do that. Uh, let's see. Let's just make sure all this other stuff has worked out. Nothing's changed there. That's fine. That's fine. All right, we're going to go ahead and do our traditional quick pick. Let's see, I want Phillips there, and I want Koch there, and we want Klitsch, Click in there. Even if the game doesn't want him in there. There we go. And how is Dallas looking? He's a team leader. Six eight seven two six seven. He doesn't have any assist, I don't think. He's got one. Six six nine. He needs to be doing better. But you know what? I'm gonna give him a start there. I will give him a start. And let's get into it. Oh, uh, there's a deep ball. Oh, my God, David Luiz. And I'm pretty sure he was on sides, too. Shit. Yep. Wow. How are you so far off the line there? First minute goal. Um, Demand more. <laughs> Well, Meslier can get chapped about that. I'm not very happy with him. Luckily, being even losing points here right now, we are only falling to seventh. You know, I wonder what Harrison's pace is. Because Harrison is a fast little son of a gun. But for some reason, he's not making much of an impact that I can see here in... FM 21. Oh, there's a nice, uh, nice interception by Rodrigo Alta Rafinha. Oh, get it, get it. Oh, they give it to him. Come on. Oh, that was a beautiful pass in. That was he was all the way at the touchline. Tried to touch it to the offsides. Hello. Oh, and we got dinked by Lacazette. Please call that offsides. How in the he was offsides? Come on, we gotta look. We gotta show that again. Look at it for an offsides, please. I'm pretty sure he was offsides. No, God, dog it. All right, well. Darn. We're going to have to go up to balance. We're going to have to be a little bit more aggressive. Uh, we're going to demand more. Yeah, I really don't like the... I don't like the hearts, man. I got to say, I don't like them so far. Cooper and Phillips are on yellow cards. Two goals. Oh, look, you know as well as I do, that wasn't good enough. And I would agree with that. Harrison's on a 6-4. Oh, you know what? Can I... I can't check it from there. Pace is 15, acceleration's 14. He's got a brilliant first touch. I have no idea why he is struggling like he is right now. I have no explanation. All right, Dallas gets in front of that. Glitch, Rodrigo. That was a horrible pass by Rodrigo. Bellaran deep into the attack zone. Headed out, coming right back in. Glitch pushes out well. Rodrigo was looking for Bamford to make a run. Tightly marked. Oh. P. 
Pierre Emmerich Aubameyang. I don't know how to pronounce that last name. Aubameyang. Jesus. I think uh, that's the next match for Leeds, too, is Arsenal coming out of the international break. All right, Harrison is struggling. So let's take him off. And I'm going to move. No, nope, I don't have Paveda on the bench. All right, so Costa's in. Cooper's playing a 6-4, and he's on a yellow. So we're going to bring Urente on for him. That'll be our two subs here. Ain't no party like a Thomas party. Oh, man. Come on. Uh, encourage. Save. Knocked away. Good outlet ball to Costa. He drives inside. That wasn't good. Not good at all. All right, we do have a couple of guys dragging butt. Uh, do I have anybody? Costa's left-footed, so I can put him here. Let's give Christo on the left wing. He hadn't played since, I think, our first episode. Christo can't hit the target, so we already see him off to a, off to a start here. Uh, demand more. Gabriel heads it over the goal. This is going to be one to forget, I'm afraid. Dallas. Oh, my God. Urente just got toasted. Mm. Lacazette, his ninth. Wow. I'm just going to drop back a little bit, but I mean, we're getting beat over the top and we're not playing a trap. That was not good. Uh, we, de we demotivated half the team. Not sure why they thought that was acceptable. So that drops us out of qualifying into seventh position. But we are still three points clear of Brighton for true mid-table. And we are 11 points clear of Palace for the drop. So we're looking good. And that ends our six-match unbeaten run. So basically what I've determined on the math is we're going to come back after every three games. So we'll come back for Blackburn and Newcastle. That'll be our next match. So we'll see you guys for that. I hope you, you come back. Let me know in the comments what you think. We got a point today, but I think against Palace, we should be pulling three points. But, hey, it's a learning process. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. And uh, all you new people, welcome to the channel. Uh, very happy with the early results. Uh, the first episode has garnered 42 views and that's in less than a full day. So very happy with that. Uh, definitely would love to see those numbers continue uh, through this video. Would love to see be pulling 40 plus views. And I think if that happens, that will show some positive growth for the channel this year. Uh, if it drops back below 10, uh, I just don't know what to what to make of that. So. Uh, hey, and I'm always open to cons some constructive criticism. If you guys, you know, have some ideas of some things that maybe I could look at doing, let me know, uh, and we will at least take it under advisement. But we'll see you back for Blackburn Newcastle tomorrow. Have a good one. Bye.